What is a cyber attack? A cyber attack is any action taken by cyber criminals with malicious goals in mind. Cyber criminals launch their attacks using one or more computers to strike other computers, networks, or information systems. A variety of methods used to launch a cyber attack, commonly goals is to steal data, destroy information or data, change data, disable computers, achieve financial gain, espionage. Why do cyber attacks happen? Cyber attacks are usually either criminally or politically motivated. Adversaries can be either a private person, state actor, or a criminal organization. But the main answer to why these attacks even happen is to look at the goals behind each of them. The criminals don't always want the same thing, which is why there is not one simple answer to the question why cyber attacks happen. Some cyber criminals want money or information, while others might just want to cause problems. Then there are those who attack systems to destroy them for personal reasons, such as disgruntled ex-employees. Common Types of Cyber Attacks There are many types of cyber attacks, but some threat actions are more common than others. The most common threat actions include various types of malware, ransomware, denial of service, and phishing. Active versus Passive Attacks Before exploring the specific types of cybersecurity attacks, consider the two main categories, passive and active. Passive attacks will not affect the resources in the system and instead aim to discover information. By contrast, active attacks aim to impact either the confidentiality, integrity, or availability of a system. System. Crypto jacking. This type of cyber attack is when a cyber criminal uses the victim's computer to mine cryptocurrency. This is typically done via crypto mining malware or in JavaScript code through web browsers. Distributed denial of service. Distributed denial of service DDoS, attacks occur when hackers try to prevent access to a website or server. To achieve that goal, the cyber criminals use many systems and overload the targeted system, making it unavailable to legitimate users. Man in the middle. In this type of cyber attack, the cyber criminal gets between the web service and the user. An example would be an attacker creating a Wi-Fi login page on a public network to mimic the real one. Once the victim logs in, the cyber criminal can see the information they enter, including important passwords. Phishing Phishing is a common type of cybersecurity attack. This typically involves sending emails that appear official but are in fact from cyber criminals, typically asking for personal information. Unfortunately, even as spam filters advance, cyber criminals continue developing ways to evade them. Ransomware Ransomware is a type of malware or syntactic attack that encrypts files on the targeted device. Then, the cyber criminals demand money in exchange for unencrypting the files. Supply chain attacks Software supply chain attacks are a type of cyber attack that compromises the code in common software, with the goal of providing access for attackers to those users who use the application. It is a result of another attack being used on the software vendor FX a syntactic attack. Some of these cyber attacks have the goal of affecting the maximum number of victims. An example was the Prism Web attack, which affected more than 200 online stores for university, university campuses. This type of cyber attack can also have specific targets. In this situation, the cyber criminals have a target and choose a program or software that can give them access. The criminals might take advantage of others affected by the attack, depending on their goals. SQL injection. The name of this attack comes from its use of SQL commands. SQL is an abbreviation for structured query language, and when using a SQL injection as a cyber attack you are trying to take control of and possibly steal from a database. By inserting malicious code into a database the cyber criminals exploit vulnerabilities in data-driven applications from where they gain access to sensitive information. Syntactic attacks or malware. Syntactic attacks refer to malicious software like trojans, worms, and viruses that infect a computer. Viruses are self-replicating and attach themselves to other files. Worms are similar but do not rely on another file, as they are self-running. Trojans bring malicious software onto devices under the guise of legitimate software, such as a keyboard logger. Zero-day exploits. 
These refer to when attackers exploit the vulnerabilities in software that the developers have not fixed yet. With the rapid development of the smart grid and increasingly integrated communication networks, power grids are facing serious cybersecurity problems. With their extensive incorporation of information and communication technology, power systems are exposed to cyber threats. By targeting the information exchange process, malicious attackers can inject false data to cause power outage, economic loss, and system instability. False data injection. FDI can also be employed to mask existing power system faults. This will affect operators' visibility on the faults and prevent proper countermeasures from being taken. For example, in 2015, the Ukraine power grid was attacked and substation breakers were opened by malicious entities. To design proper protection measures for the improvement of system resilience, it is necessary to explore the way FDI affects the power system. Thus, there has been a lot of research on the attacking mechanism and effect of FDI. In general, the paths through which FDI adversely affects a power system can be classified into three categories, i.e., the estimation of system states, the generation of control commands, and the actuation of control actions. FDI is used as a tool to attack the Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition SCADA, system, while in false data is injected into the Phaser Measurement Unit PMU, to mislead the control center. By doing this, cyber attackers can affect the operator's visibility on the true operating condition of the system, resulting in the failure of the operator to take appropriate countermeasures. Examples of Cyber Attacks To showcase the seriousness of cybersecurity attacks, consider some of these attacks from recent years. Mafia Boy denial of service attack in 2000, going all the way back to February 7, 2000, one of the first denial of service attacks to make headlines occurred. The attack was executed by the then 15-year-old hacker going by the name Mafia Boy, who successfully reduced the traffic on eBay, CNN, Amazon, BUY.com, and other major sites. The FBI estimated that the affected sites had suffered $1.7 billion in damages. WannaCry in 2017 This ransomware attack encrypted computers, demanding Bitcoin to unlock the files. It affected critical organizations such as the NHS in the UK. The particularly critical part of this breach was that it spread via a vulnerability in Windows discovered by the US National Security Agency. The cyber criminals utilized this vulnerability to orchestrate the devastating attack. Not Petia in 2017. Petia was ransomware similar to other attacks in 2016, but in June 2017 saw greater utilization with a new version, called NotPetya. It used the same exploit as WannaCry. Citrix breach in 2019. In March 2019, Citrix was the victim of a password spraying attack. This type of attack involves hackers trying to gain access by exploiting leaked passwords. Capital One breach in 2019. In July 2019, Capital One discovered hundreds of thousands of credit cards had been compromised, including leak of social security numbers and birthdays. Oddly enough, there is no evidence the information and data was used for fraud or even shared by the attacker who gained access. Ways to prevent a cyber attack. The good news is that while cyber attacks are a significant risk, there are also numerous strategies to protect against them. By learning what a cyber attack is and the most common methods and tactics used, you can take appropriate precautions. Here is our best cyber safety tips and how to protect yourself against cyber attacks. Backup data. Backups can help in several situations. They will minimize the damage if a cyber criminal removes or changes data in your system and reduces the effect of a ransomware attack. Control system access. You can also reduce the risk of cyber attacks by being diligent with system access, including revoking access as soon as someone leaves the company, and having strict role-based access control implemented. This can prevent disgruntled former employees from acting maliciously and make sure only the right people have the appropriate permissions. Get professional assistance. It is important to be able to stay up to date with the latest cybersecurity threats and strategies, and to detect attacks fast. The last thing can be done using a security monitoring tool such as a CM solution. Multi-factor authentication. Using multi-factor authentication helps prevent hackers from gaining access to your network or devices if they find passwords. 
This is particularly important for companies where a high risk of phishing emails is present. Provide employee education. Make sure that your employees are aware of the importance of cybersecurity and how to avoid cyber attacks, including the risks of malware and phishing. Update systems. No matter the system or program you use, it should always be updated. This lets you take advantage of the latest security patches that address known vulnerabilities. Use firewalls and antivirus. All devices on your company's network should have antivirus and firewall software installed. This provides another layer of protection by detecting malware and reducing other risks.